Hi and welcome back to class of product development and entrepreneurship. I am Hitesh Rayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 16, Additive Manufacturing. The learning outcomes of these lectures is to learn uh, additives manufacturing, uh, what is the additive manufacturing and which are the uh, process, which are the steps uh, in uh, additive manufacturing. So uh, in these lectures we learn the additive manufacturing uh, process that is differently from the subtractive uh, manufacturing process. So let's we start the additive manufacturing process. So in previous uh, you will uh, seen that uh, in conventional manufacturing systems there are the subtracting manufacturing systems. Here in this uh, process the material is uh, subtract from the workpiece to get the component. So now in additive manufacturing systems the material is added to make the components. So uh, in this uh, the, uh, to make the components uh, by using the additive manufacturing systems we need the first the computational SCAD files. So additive manufacturing uh, process which is also known as the rapid prototyping process and it is the fabrication uh, process in which the 3D CAD files uh, is used to slice the different thickness. So additive manufacturing systems is the manufacturing systems of uh, manufacturing systems in which the layer by layer cross sections of the component is manufactured by the adding of materials. So here a material is added to make the components so that said it is known as the additive manufacturing process. So a computer used to slice the CAD files, geometry of CAD files and a, a layer of cross sectional is fabricated by the layer by layer uh, by adding the materials. So uh, layer uh, by layer depositions continuously done uh, till the component is fabricated. So uh, think in mind that there are the any components. So you have to first slide of that component to make the cross sections of that component. And uh, this cross section is used by the rapid prototyping uh, machines uh, to generate the uh, cross, section, uh, cross sectional area uh, by adding the material. Once the first layer of cross sectional is uh, completed, the next layer of cross sectional is uh, uh, manufactured by adding the material. Second layer is completed after second layer there may be, uh, there are manufactured third layer of the cross sectional. So this uh, way the uh, first section, second section, third section, fourth section uh, is uh, generated by the uh, or manufactured by the adding of materials and uh, this process is continuously done till the end of component or uh, end sections of the components or you can say the till the component is manufactured. So here I show the manufacturing process uh, which is uh, uh, additive manufacturing process. So first there are the CAD files. After CAD file we have to uh, translate the CAD files into the STL format which is the data exchange format which is used to uh, additive manufacturing process. Uh, then uh, the slicing of this uh, STL format is done so, so we get the cross sectional area of the components and uh, this cross-sectional area of the component is used by the rapid prototyping machines to make the layer of that cross-sectional area and uh, by layer by layer cross-sections of the um, uh, components, the final components or 3D parts of the product is uh, manufactured by this additive manufacturing process. So this is the additive manufacturing process. If you look at the additive manufacturing process steps, so there are eight steps. First step is uh, we required uh, when we uh, use the additive manufacturing process. First we need the CAD model. So we have to create the CAD models of particular components. <clears throat> so this is the first step. Second, after uh, making of the CAD models, we have to convert the STL uh, CAD model into the STL file. So STL file is the data exchange format which is used in additive manufacturing process and it is the format which is used 
uh, in stereolithography process which is the additive manufacturing process and it is uh, uh, the first uh, manufacturing additive manufacturing process and the format used in this stereolithography process is then uh, used by the standard format for the additive manufacturing process so after making of the CAD file second step is to convert the CAD file into the HDL file then the file transfer to the machines so HDL file is transferred to the machine then next fourth step is to prepare the machine setup machine setup is uh, prepared and then the component uh, is start to build by layer by layer so fifth step is the build of component after the build of components we have to remove the uh, components and remove the uh, supporting materials if any required so sometimes what happens there are the critical cross-sectional area and we need uh, supporting material so there uh, uh, there may be uh, supporting material so after the, uh, making of the final components or after completions of the components we have to remove the supporting materials and seven is the post processing material post processing process so for in post processing uh, removing of materials uh, finishings of materials is done and it is the applications so these are the additive manufacturing process and uh, the steps of manufacturing process is first the making of the CAD file second is the uh, conversion of CAD file into STL file then the STL file is uh, uh, transferred to the machines and uh, machine setup is uh, build, uh, machine setup is ready then build up the components remove the components and uh, remove the supporting materials or finishing the materials uh, finishing the product and then the applications so next is uh, additives versus subtractive manufacturing so we all know that the uh, subtracting manufacturing uh, subtractive manufacturing process the material is removed uh, by the machining process to make the component so uh, here i saw the which are the limitations of the subtractive manufacturing process so if, for example so if consider here uh, the critical geometry as shown here uh, uh, so in subtractive manufacturing systems uh, first you can see that here uh, the gravity here may be too deep to machine so if you think that here are the cavities so if you go for the subtracting manufacturing systems so the cavity are uh, here may be too deep to machine so machining uh, is very difficult to make the cavities uh, second if you think here the undercut here cannot be performed without more than three axis machining so here are the curvature steps and this undercut cannot be possible in simple three axis machine so we need the uh, five axis uh, more than three axis machines to, to build the this type of curvature step and uh, all obviously base cannot be machines because it uh, uh, machine must hold using the fish, uh, fixture so we cannot uh, fix uh, uh, machining the base and also here you can see the sharp internal features cannot be machines without uh, a radius tools radius tool so here you can say that this type of machining is difficult in subtractive manufacturing systems so these are the uh, limitations of subtractive manufacturing systems and this uh, subtractive manufacturing systems limitation can be overcome by the additive manufacturing system because here the manufacturing of component is done by the layer by layer cross sections of the component so there are no difficulty to make the component by the additive manufacturing systems so uh, the, there are the different techniques used uh, for the additive manufacturing systems and uh, this uh, all techniques are different uh, according to the parameter zones here the first parameter is techniques used for the creating layers so there are the different techniques used in different additive manufacturing uh, techniques to make the layer of cross sections so second is the techniques of bonding the layer together as we know that additive manufacturing systems is the layer by layer cross section manufacturing of layer by layer cross sectional area so the cross sectional layer by layer is generated so the layer is uh, joined by the 
different method so there are the bonding techniques uh, uh, to joint or uh, joint the layer together and the speed of of manufacturing systems and the layer thickness how much the we do the slicing there are the uh, thickness of the layer is dependence on the accuracy so there are the accuracy and range of the materials and obviously the cost of the manufacturing so uh, as we know that this is the layer by layer manufacturing system so layer manufacturing process can be classified according to the material used uh, in uh, you know, manufacturing systems and uh, uh, the principal use in per particular process so first there are material three types of material use uh, powder materials liquid materials and solid materials according to the powder materials they, uh, there are two principles used uh, first is the sintering process and the print, uh, printing or joining process so in uh, first uh, sintering process there are the selective laser sintering so here the laser is used to sintering the particles of the powder <coughs> so the powder particles or you can say the material uh, material particles can uh, sintering by the using of the lasers and in second methods uh, there are the 3d printings in which the adhesive material is uh, added to join the uh, particles powder particles so uh, this is the two methods according to the material uh, use as a powder and uh, second is the liquid materials uh, in liquid materials there are two principal use uh, extrusion process and liquid polymerizations so in extrusion process there are the fused deposition moldings and uh, in liquid polymerizations there are two types of uh, process or uh, two types of uh, principal use photo mas masking process and laser processing in photo masking uh, process there are the solid ground curing and uh, laser processing there are the stereolithography in stereolithography the polymer is used to <coughs> make the 3d component and laser is uh, used to make the component so in this uh, polymerization process is done uh, to make the final component so and uh, if you look at the solid materials there are the principal use uh, laminate insulation process so here the layer is laminated uh, lamin uh, layer is laminated by each other and uh, according to that there are two types of methods uh, bonding of sheet with adhesive materials and bonding of sheet with light so according to the bonding of sheet with adhesives there are laminate object manufacturing and uh, according to the bonding of sheet with light there are the foil polymers rejections so these are the uh, process classified uh, according to the material use and the principal use and so in this lectures we learn the basic of addi additive manufacturing process which are the steps in additive manufacturing process and uh, how the layer manufacturing process is classified according to the materials and principal use in our next lectures we learn the uh, basic additive manufacturing process thank you